Hey guys, we finally got our hands on the coveted Z-Force 1000 from CF Moto. We said we'd do it, and here it is. I've been informed that it is not contagious, and it is safe to try. So, um, anyways, we got our hands on this cool Z-Force 1000. It's brand new, uh, all BS set aside. It's a cool looking machine. Um, I'm stoked to take it for a little cruise. I didn't even drive it over here. I made Shelby drive it because I want you guys to see my first impression. Um, I mean, let's do a little walk around quickly. We just hosed it off. They've been demo riding this vehicle all day. And uh, quite honestly, it's probably like the best machine CF Moto has ever brought to the table. Comes with a nice CST Stag tires. They got pretty good grip on them. Really similar to a Bighorn. Really similar to what you'll get on a lot of the other machines. The cool thing about these CF Motos is that they do come with a lot of accessories, like this, the Nerf bars, the bumpers in the front, the turn signals in the fore and the winch and stuff like that. A lot of that is included when you buy it. Don't forget um, electronic power steering. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's power steering just like is pretty much standard on all machines. They come just like a Polaris or a Can-Am does with just the top door. And I know there's some aftermarket options, uh, probably more and more every day for getting you that lower door or just a full metal door or something like that. They do have a, a, an electronic locking front differential so you can lock it or you can leave it open. It's got a nice dashboard. You guys have seen the interior and stuff like that and maybe some of our other videos where we had an 800 trail. Uh, this is its big brother. This is, is this the biggest machine CF Moto makes, Shelby? Yes, it is. So yeah, this is, um, it's got independent, I mean, independent rear. It's got uh, a double A arms in the rear, so it's not a trailing arm. I'd probably have to guess that this is like direct competition at like the 900S and the 1000S. It's not an attack at like the 1000 XP or the turbo models. It's, um, they're trying to kind of hit that, that mark right below that. So we can't compare it to my turbo. We can't really compare it to an X3 turbo, but we could definitely compare this to a 900S or a 1000S, which we have a lot of on the trail. You guys have seen how well those have done. So we're going to take this machine out for a little boot right now. And then we're also probably going to take uh, out a couple more of these in a group in an hour or two once things settle down here. We're at Gopher Dunes today in Tilsonburg, Ontario. Um, it's one of our MX tracks around here and they also have a lot of cool trail systems and stuff like that for us to play around on. So we've got the Razor out. Uh, we got Tyler and the other Razor 1000 out here with us today but he already blew a belt and it is not cooperating at Rats Nested so he'll be driving a CF Moto too. So uh, we're going to take a few of these out on the trail and just kind of drive them, see what we think about them, not really be too harsh on them and, and comparing them to anything, but just kind of give you guys an honest opinion of what we think these things are capable of. So yeah, so um, I guess we can stop talking and we'll just jump into the, the meat and potatoes of it. We'll hop in this thing and I'll give you my honest first impression. I've not yet driven one of these. I've never driven a CF Moto side by side, ever, ever. I made sure to order a red and black CF Moto to match my helmet. <laughs> and these nice M99 goggles from Royal Distributing. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hop in there. You wanna hop in with me, Shelby? Absolutely, I wouldn't miss it for um, the world. Okay, I guess we should throw our helmets on then. Yes, absolutely. Okay, we'll meet you back here in a moment. All right. Oh. Okay, so the seats are definitely not as comfortable as a Can-Am. Or a Razor. But these do come with four point harnesses from the factory, which is kind of a neat option. I have to admit the worst part of this whole machine was the four point harnesses it comes with. They were definitely below par. Did not like them one bit. Let's take this CF Moto Z Force 1000 for a test drive. Oh, the gears are backwards. It's the opposite of a razor.
put in four low. much of a ride in yet but we're gonna take it out again it feels pretty neat I mean it doesn't feel cheap or anything um, my biggest concern has always been longevity with these and kind of how much abuse they can take but it feels pretty good it's not rickety or anything I'm actually kind of mildly satisfied like it's not terrible um, yeah it's not as roomy as an x3 or a razor I'm a little more cramped and my seating positions a little more upright but it's not uncomfortable. Uh, it's definitely worth taking a test drive if, if you're not somebody who, who you know, really pushes, pushes the limits and, and you want a machine that can probably keep up with everyone on the trail, you might not be able to hold a bigger 1000 machine like a XP1000 down the straightaway or in the whoops. But uh, there's no doubt that in there, I was traveling at the same speed I was traveling at in my Razor Turbo because the trails don't really allow for many much more speed or, or due to the conditions. So, so in that sense, I mean, it's just as much machine as the other ones are. It didn't get stuck. It didn't struggle. Um, it feels like it might have a better turning radius than my Razor. Um, the power steering feels softer, but it also has slightly smaller and less aggressive tires on it. 
Um, but the power steering actually feels really sensitive. It reminds me of like an old Razor when you would put an aftermarket power steering system on it and it was twitchy. This one seems a little twitchy at speed, but um, it's probably just a matter of getting used to. Um, personally, I think it's pretty good. I mean, only time will tell how well this thing does. So um, hopefully we can get our hands on one again. We're gonna see if we can go out and do a little bit better ride um, with a few of the guys and a few machines.
goggles fogged up, I have yeah, to take them off. I want to drive this one. Yeah, you want to take the U-Force out? Yeah, look, it's got no doors. I know. <laughs> no mean doors. I thought it was guys, you having fun? You didn't have goggles on. Look at your muddy face, girl. <laughs> This is what happens when you give camera guys the razor. <laughs> Look at her! Oh my god! Look at her! <laughs> oh my gosh! James had some fun in the you razor. Said you were crazy! Crazy! <laughs> <laughs> I made it! <laughs> yeah, you want the camcorder? You get zoom on it. Like underneath. Oh yeah. They're nice and light. <laughs> Come on, let's get out. Wanna help us push it over? One, two, three. Look at that. that was awesome. No damage at all. Well rolled. Well rolled. Everyone having fun? Yeah. How are you, Shelby? Oh, I am great. How are you, I'm sir? Good. Awesome! <laughs> For the record, I liked it and all that because I made a mistake. Hi, you guys have fun? Hell yeah! <laughs> definitely bring you some more CF Moto content in the future. We'd love to get one of these machines out on our trail because I know you guys have been asking us to not just ride it around and show us show you guys the machine, but you want to see it actually perform on the trail next to a Razor, next to a Maverick, next to a, a Yamaha of some sort uh, so that we can actually see whether this thing can come out with us two or three times and go home without any issues and do all the trails we've done in the past with other machines. So that's kind of the big game plan. So a shout out to CF Moto for letting us test drive one of these. Thanks a lot. Check us out on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. Um, subscribe to our channel. If you like the videos, please share them with your friends. It really helps us out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. So thanks for watching. Let's, some, let's see if Moto some more, Shelby. Do you want to see if Moto some more?